busiest day of all days, there will be no room for mishaps. Practice makes perfect, and the state trumpeters of the household cavalry are rehearsing for the celebratory fanfare they'll play at the wedding. To be a part of that is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, of which we're all looking forward to. Um, so I don't think anyone will be particularly nervous just yet, but I'm sure when it actually comes to the time to play, uh, people will start getting a little bit nervous there. The mounted regiment will accompany the carriages with Kate and William and the other royals on their way back from the abbey. The British household cavalry is over 350 years old. Usually the troopers would spend up to 10 hours polishing their uniforms before a public appearance. But on this occasion, they want to surpass even their own high standards. Some of the horses are being reshod and they're all being groomed to perfection. We're going through sort of a more advanced grooming just to get them um, uh, looking a lot smarter for the wedding. So grooming would normally take about 45 minutes after a, on a normal day, but um, with, with a big occasion like the Royal Wedding coming up, obviously they're going through a lot more intense grooming, so they're getting washed a lot more, um, and grooming's taken a lot longer. It's taken about maybe an hour sort of thing. The crowds have already begun gathering outside Buckingham Palace. Hundreds of thousands of tourists have already descended on London, with even more expected over the next few days. An estimated 8,000 journalists from all over the world will be covering the festivities. Hopefully they won't get confused by the Kate and William lookalikes doing the rounds. Uh, all people uh, who say, oh yes, uh, you look like uh, Prince William, uh, it's uh, very, very funny. <laughs> Just around the corner is the Goring Hotel, where Kate will be spending the night before the wedding. The city's luxury hotels are booked out these days, but apparently there are still rooms to be had at less expensive establishments. London is very much geared up for what's going to be the biggest event of the decade. We're expecting around 600,000 visitors to come to London for the wedding, and that's based on the same number we had for Charles and Diana in 1981. The bookies are also having a field day. Most of the time, it tends to be young men who enjoy a flutter, but at football matches or horse races. But this time, young ladies are enjoying some online betting, albeit not for very high stakes. What are the odds the queen wears a pink hat? Will Kate trip over her dress? Will Harry drop the ring? <laughs> Is Prince Philip going to fall asleep? Will Kate Middleton be late? Will her shoe fall off? Meanwhile, preparations at Westminster Abbey are in full swing. Come Friday, the church will have transformed into a garden. The central decoration will be these six-meter-high trees. Well, the extraordinary ceilings in Westminster Abbey, the, the whole medieval ethos was to build everything on nature. So all these wonderful cove ceilings are all supposed to reflect the branches of trees. And that was the first thought I had when, when we sort of come up with the idea of doing trees in the abbey. Another regiment of the household cavalry is rehearsing in Hyde Park. For many of the troopers, accompanying the royal wedding procession will mark the high point of their careers. Both Prince William and Prince Harry have served with the Blues and Royals. British do sort of pageantry um, quite well, I suppose it's maybe ingrained in our, in our culture and certainly the British Army lead with that. And um, yeah, we've always been quite good at, at sort of performing civic occasions and uh, we hope this will be no exception. With all its tradition, London is the perfect setting for this fairy tale wedding. The world's eyes are on it and the city is ready to do Her Majesty the Queen proud. <laughs>